Hello, today I will try to use this old uh, laser printer. I will try to find some interesting components inside, like motors, stepper motors and some sensors and other stuff. And I will show you how to control these components with uh, Arduino or other microcontroller. And yes, I will also show you my new project which is made using printer parts, this cooking machine. And I will test it. This is my first project that includes food and I love it so far, because I love to eat a lot. So, in this video, most of the time I will talk about stepper motors, how to use them and I will also explain why I used this stepper motor in this project. Before we open this old printer, I would like you I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. My channel is based on electronics, Arduino and other microcontroller boards. Feel free to check it later. Okay, let's see what can be found in this printer. Okay, let's see what I found. It. I found this power board. There is many interesting components like voltage regulators, big capacitors, switches and many others, but I will not use it in this video. But I will save it for later, maybe I can find something interesting for next video. In every laser printer you will find this laser unit. I will also not use this because it is a little dangerous and I don't want to be responsible if someone lose eyes or something. You can also find this solenoid. If I apply power to these wires, coil inside uh, will create magnetic field and this metal part will be pulled down. It is fun part. I will save it for future projects. I also find a lot of mechanic, me mechanical parts that can be used in uh, some cool projects. And this is part I want the most. Stepper motor. What is stepper motor? Stepper motor is DC motor, but is, it is more pre precise, precise than a regular DC motor, because this motor rotates in steps. For example, this motor have 200 steps per, for revolution, which means if I program it to make 200 steps, it will make full circle or single rotation. Sorry, my English is still in mess, but I'm trying. Stepper motors can be unipolar and bipolar. These four wireless stepper motors are bipolar stepper motors, and if you want to control it with Arduino, you will need this easy driver. Don't worry, it is cheap, like everything on this channel. It can be found for less than two dollars. So our step motor is connected here. Here is power. Uh, this is big motor, so 5 volts is not enough. I'm powering it with uh, 12 volts. Here is part that uh, here are pins that uh, are connected to Arduino. Step pin and direction pin. 
For each clock pulse on step pin, motor will rotate one step. And uh, with the direction pin I can um, control direction of rotation. If I connect it to ground, motor will uh, rotate in one direction and if I connect it to 5 volts it will rotate opposite. Uh, there is also 5 volts voltage regulator on easy driver so I'm using it to power this Arduino board. So you can see that uh, controlling the stepper motor is very simple with Arduino. I will also put uh, uh, example sketches in description. And here is my device. It is simple and it will rotate only in one direction. I added potentiometer that can control speed of rotation. I can change speed uh, with changing amount of delay between steps. So question is why I use a stepper motor for this project? Why I didn't use normal DC motor? Answer is because speed. For this project I need slow rotation. With regular DC motor I would need lots of gears and pulleys. I can slow down DC motor with speed controllers but in that case uh, DC motor will lose lots of power. So I use a stepper motor. I will not show you how to make this because it is really simple. And I hope I gave you some ideas for your stepper motor projects. And now it's time to relax and cook something.